Hi, how's it going? My name is Nigel Chambers of Baco Belt Media. It's a pleasure to talk to you two lovely looking women today. Look at that. Listen, it's, it's without a doubt, you know what your jobs are here. Makeup <laughs> and hair and costume design as you are bringing the style to the junket today. Um, with so many new characters coming, um, which means now I'm sure that allowed you a lot more creativity uh, to switch things up. And also our characters are now getting older. Time has passed a little bit here. What were some of the things that you wanted to bring into season two um, to really take things to the next level from season one? Well, I think all of the principal characters go have gone through and go through a massive change in season two. Um, there are epic storylines pretty much for everybody. Um, and um, costume wise, that is reflected in every way. Like um, Moraine is lost and has lost the one power at the beginning. So I drained all the color out of her costume, um, apart from a little bit, which is a <laughs> bit of an Easter egg for you to find. Um, and um, uh, and so on. I mean, you know, Rand is on a journey. He's in a different place. The Nynaeve and Egwene are the white towers you know there's there's and they're co and they progress and they and they go through all kinds of experiences nobody has one costume in season two <laughs> even the same for me for makeup and hair you know i wanted to show that the actors had progressed from season one to season two they're growing up a little bit they're all on their separate journeys so you can kind of see that with parents straight off the bat you know I've got an arc for him over the over the books that I want to get him to and you know have his hair a little bit longer and then you can see also with Rand with his hair you know we've cut his short and you know they're all growing up so it's been um it's been great to kind of follow for us to kind of follow with these actors as they grow up in real life and you know and and in the story that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Answer. And, and um, you know, the conclusion of season one, we got a little peek at the Shang Chan, and now we get the true introduction, uh, episode two. Shall I just add there? Um, knowing how pivotal this introduction would be for the story, but also just how spectacular the introduction looked. Uh, what was what was your level of excitement to 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 really be a part of this part of the production? It was a, well, it was immense. I think it was immense for both of us. I think that, um, you know, to start developing these characters that uh, we had, you know, maybe a couple of months before we started to see the very first look of Sauroth and um, everyone on screen for that first battle that you saw, the end of the battle, um, that was um, to see them on set that day was a highlight because um, we had worked so hard to get to that point um, and to see the journey that we have going forward as well and to, you know, once you start seeing them, you know, the episodes to come, you, it's it, they, they look amazing. And we really wanted to make sure that we were including, you know, all the references from the books, all the kind of, um, the the incredible detail that uh, Robert Jordan goes into in in his writing, and to make sure that they had, you know, they looked terrifying, they looked beautiful, they looked like insects, they looked strange and different and weird, <laughs> um, and that was just very exciting. And Suroth is was the kind of pinnacle in that first block in those first two episodes of something that was freaky and really cool at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> spoken like true fans these are exactly some of the things i i i i, I also would <laughs> detail but truly uh just tips the hat to you too uh this season for the first four episodes is fantastic you all it's a pleasure to be able to speak to you all as well too and i just cannot wait for the fans to check out the rest <laughs> 